Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, they are. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The Battle Bus has launched game number two of the Fortnite World Cup duo finals is underway. Again, I'm just going to keep saying it, the most nerve-wracking part of any competition, but definitely Fortnite for me, is the second you jump out of that bus. Yep. Right, once you hit the ground, once these players hit the ground, they're going to definitely have hopefully less nerves, going to get back into the flow, back into the farming mentality. And man, I just look, I'm looking at these llamas on my screen, and I'm just hoping that they find them. There's nothing greater than finding the new upgraded llamas at 350 mats. Dude, they're Her. insane. And they're everywhere. And look, wait, can we look at the map? Look at the north side. You've got three llamas in a very small area. Llamas. Yeah, and, and many players have gotten better at spotting llamas from very, very, very far, far away. away. I mean, you just, the one thing I tell, you know, I was telling my, my teammate Malachi, I was like, listen, man, sometimes you just actually have to tell yourself, hey, we should probably look for llamas as we're flying in because, you know, you're usually you're looking for players who's going to be landing next to you. But if you actually keep an eye out for that adorable pink, purple, and blue llama. And there's one. I mean, look, you're just going to get rewarded with shield, rotation, there's shadow bomb storm, campfires, minis. I mean, these are incredibly valuable. And remember, materials get capped at 500 of each type. So when you get 350, it's done its job for you. You're you can spend there. much less time looting and, uh, or sorry, farming, wow. and much more time looting. And look at Zayt perfectly using the Shadow Bob Ninja. For players at home who are wondering how he just used it for way more than the six seconds it actually lets you use it for, explain a little bit of staying on the side of the mountain. Yeah, all you have to do is just continue that jump animation that's going to trigger the double jump. And as long as you don't touch any uh, solid ground, you're going to be able to continue to double bounce back and forth, man. It's, uh, it's an incredible, incredible use of the Shadow Bombs. And you're, seeing it. you're probably going to see a lot of players do something like that uh, in the late game off of other people's builds, and which is way more difficult to do that off a mountain, by the way. For sure, as we now take a look. That storm, storm is landing far, side man. of the map, and this, is, this storm is very far. Great point to bring up there. We can see on our side, the zone right now basically gets cut off at Dusty Divot and Neo Tilted, and the rest of the north side of the map are in play. So everyone near the middle and south side will have to move, and you see in the elimination feed very early on, Elevate does get cut down. So a tough start for the duo from 100 Thieves right there, as you've got to wonder if Arkham's still alive. Either way, though, Daedra and M11Z Looks like Basically they have down on. in Loot Lake, they, uh, sorry, in Loot Lake, Lucky Landing, and they do have a duo nearby. Looks like they're trying to obviously back away, continue to farm up. Lucky Landing is not really a four-person landing. Uh, when two people, more than two people land here, one of them is going to be leaving a little bit handicapped. And Yu Wang in a fight right now, popping that last big shield, so all of his damage that he will take from now on will be permanent unless he gets an elimination and gets... The, and look, look at how good these stink grenades are right now. Scram. And Mexi have lost so much HP off the start of this one, just from getting ticks. The spray does come on through. A third party, though, beginning to shoot down on a Yuang. So another player putting their attention towards this fight. Trying to line a side At Snobby, but uh-oh. KBB does go down. It's oh, now Yuang all by himself, and no materials left, Ninja. He can't even take a wall. They're, they're, they're really, this is an abysmal position to be, be in. Yuang knows that. Trying to fall back to his teammate to maybe sneak a revive, but I just and don't see. A lot see. of these players really are kind of hesitant. You know what I mean? They don't yeah. necessarily want to push. There is a third party now. They don't have a lot of shields. Are they going to so get it off the right play? They're, They're going to go push forward. You ain't no shields. And he's going to get the double. He's going to get the double and the revive on KBB. And there was some delicious shockwave grenades that just slid down the ramp. You ain't. Oh takes them down. The four, four builds left. I believe there was some help. The shots that came in from that third team getting nearby, which weakened them at first. Yu Wang gets the cleanup on the last one right there. What a swing for the duo. Shot does come in onto Keys, though, as another flight going down just outside the desert side of the map. Keys and Slacks up against two. Running out of materials already, and guess what? These guys are at the farthest point of the storm. Yep. So this is not, they can't afford this fight, right? The longer this takes, they're not going to be able to get materials. They're going to be burning all the materials in this fight right now. So they're definitely going to need these lift to make up for it. That was and a clean. the knock on Landjock. And Landjock and Punisher went down early last game as well, and it looks like Landjock will suffer the same fate here. Upgraded combat shock, and you know he's going to take that. Punisher trying to make some plays here. Still, now it is a two-on-one situation. Just need to play the numbers advantage. And again, Storm is about to start moving, so they're going to have to make some plays sooner rather than later. No ammunition. Very few builds. No build. shield. This spell is disaster, and Punisher goes down, and there's the frustration 
in the player camera right there. Slacks and keys, two quick eliminations. But you mentioned they can't afford to do that. It takes so much time in that fight. They've got to go very far still. Now over to Neo Tilted. Clicks and Skeptic in a fight. Got some shield. Doesn't necessarily want to use this mini to only get a 10. And he looks like he's trying to opt to take some all top of his teammate out. He's going to get taken. With the trap kill, he's going to get the knock. Unbelievable, incredible place. Bad Sniper goes down, and now he's continuing to branch out. When you guys are in fights like this, you always want to do exactly what he's doing right now, which is branch out, continue to build these little one-by-ones with pyramids, try to confuse your opponents of where you actually are healing up. Skeptic just eight builds left. They're trying to stay alive right now. They do have the number advantage. Class has time to pop one mini, and it looks like they're gonna go for it right now. They've made the conscious decision to try to build out, but no. They back up for a moment. Finally gets a shotgun. Yep, shotgun picked up. Grenades now as well. They want to go for the second elimination. And oh, we take the Oh my god, we Did got he some track talk the Ellen real life? Did he just take the L in real life? Homie, this is land. This dude's gonna come over. No, I'm just kidding. 40, but the sticks come know, on man. in. Sticks coming in 22 health left. Campfire down. He has. Oh, and, and look who's here. Third party. Hello. Look who's here. NA puts up the take the L and EU says no, no, no. This is the World Cup, baby. I'm going to show which continent is best. Mitro and Mongrel, full HP, and they storm roll through. Dual links for Mitro, Clicks still right there. down low. Wow, incredible. Let's look at that kid. Gold scar, gold combat, heavy shotgun, or I'm sorry, heavy sniper rifle for taking opponents' walls. Let's look at they're just stealing and bum rushing, and that's going to be it. And there's no shot right there. Skeptic. You saw, hey, putting on a show, I love it. The man does YouTube for a reason. But then also, a fantastic player, I think speaks a little bit too soon. Aiden now on your screen. Does knock one, hasn't Down. finished the elimination yet, so still will gain 50 HP if he can get the full. There it is. Now a two versus one, Aiden and Sean. Look at how weak Sean is though, Ninja. Sean has absolutely no help. A little bit of shield. Hopefully we're gonna drop some minis here. A being the good team that he is, I'm sure he's calling it out right now. But it is also a two on one, and they don't know, you know, we don't know how weak this guy is right now, but if he is weak, they're gonna look to trade. And there's a double shotgun shot for over 21 white. Players no shield left, they're gonna try to put the pressure on. Sean has health, and look how aggressive they're being. They're both one hit, they can actually trap. They're going for it, they're, they're saying, you know, you would have thrown the trap down by, by now, and they're calling and it is. Off. And look at the take from Aiden. The jump out to the side, and they'll be rewarded with shields, with materials. And look, Aiden actually, there was two big shields. Yeah. Aiden's gonna wow. have the full health. That's incredible, man. You see the stats so far this game. Aiden has done 434 damage, has taken 312, and he's near backup to max health. I know Aiden is a crowd favorite here. Every time the camera goes on, there's a big cheer from this sold-out arena. For those of you guys who do not know, the Storm Circle is about to update right now. We just saw our second one forcing everyone out of the north and east side of the map. And also, guess what? Every single llama was found. Yep. All five llamas have been found. So we have some probably high material players right now. A lot of rotation. Oh my god, I can't even... <sighs> freaking out, man. <laughs> You're getting into it Looks right like now. a lot of people... I love it. Yeah, we're looking around. They're all gone. There's yep. only one airdrop that's left, which means a lot of players. It's very difficult, man. Going for airdrops is super risky, but it looks like everyone at the World Cup here is taking their chances. And what's kind of funny with this zone, as you see it on the bottom right side of your map, the slip streams are there to basically help everyone get from the southeast, east, and south side of the map easily into this zone. So if you kind of sit outside and wait for players to move in from the slipstream, you might be able to deal a lot of damage. And remember, damage. you might think, oh, well, there's no way you're going to get that elimination. I'm not even talking about that. I'm, you, I'm saying free damage for Storm Sir right. when that comes into play, because it is going to happen very, very soon here. We're about a minute away. It literally looks like we've been watching. But there's 84 teams, 84 players left still. Yep. I think that's, really I guess that's a testament to our uh, our, our observers backstage. Absolutely, great man. great stuff to them. Sis Lucky does take a bit of storm damage right there. Chug splashes in the inventory and Moving ninja. Like a dolphin. Chug splashes have came into this game and they've completely taken competitive by storm. Are they the best healing item currently in this meta? I think that, you know, there's a lot of items that get added where, you know, not everyone is all unanimous about it, right? Some people do not like it. But let me tell you something about these splashes. I don't think I've ever seen more positive, you know, reactions yeah. from an item being added than when Chug splashes were added. I mean, nothing but positivity on Twitter. It was absolutely incredible. I woke up to, to some delightful posts.
Deli delightful, delightful posts. Just a delightful post. Yeah. Those of you guys who don't know what they are, each one, Splash, you get, they come in packs of two, you can stack up to six, they give you 20 health, four shield, whatever you're missing. And they're instant, you throw them down instant. to the ground, and they can be used to heal you and your teammates around you, as well as, if you really want to be a troll, your enemies, that yeah. knocked. <laughs> uh, here are Mongrel Amitro in the zone, and you talked about this inventory, I'm going to come out and say it right now, there is no way someone in this lobby has a better inventory than what Mongrel has right now. And when you come into this, they were already in your top three. So they're in a position right now, Ninja, where they have a pop-off performance right here. With only six games being played after the first two, they could be your leaders. Absolutely. I mean, they were only two points away from first. Yep. And they didn't even win the game. And Mongrel went down early before placing points were even uh, rewarded. So, Connor oh. in another fight with Quinton and his squad. Sean trying to take some walls here. And he's out of light ammo. Out of materials. And That's he's out of materials. Thing. So he can't even spray right now. Yep. The only thing you can do is spray an AR, and that's not really going to be effective against top players if you're actually trying to take walls. Well, the player tried to drop a trap down low to bait Aiden, but Aiden does not fall for it. This season veteran trying to cover his back. Players beginning to spray on through. Stink bombs dropping, and there's one of them. Another Under shot pop. comes in. Gets his shield. That's why he went for the thirst. Yep. And grab the mats. 365 mats now. He is are more than that. He's got to get out of the stinks. They've got to get out of the stinks. So weak, Look at how weak they are. And don't they can get both Sean and Aiden. They gotta, I think that's exactly what they should. They split up. They have now to. he's trying to take one by one. He's getting pushed by more than one person. Quick reaction from Aiden, but this looks like it could spell disaster for the duo. Damage down 639. He does go down on the quick edit. Aiden's making through. plays. Now it's up to Sean. Can he clutch it? Only two HP. Got some mini. Picked up some ammunition now for his minigun. But it looks like Spades is just way more healthy. And obviously there's, there's three other players who are around him as well. So who, what's he going to do? Looks like he's going for high ground, smart play, but he's out of mats. Oh, no, he's got wood. He's got wood. He's good. We both freaked out. He's going to put himself in a nice pyramid. For those of you guys who don't know what a brick or a metal pyramid. Big thing to know. Look at his own. Threshold. He has to push. Yeah, he's That's push. it. That He has to push. He has 52 health, but the zone is right at his back. He's got to go. Don't even worry about Storm, storm Surge. They're 446 of five as well. Got the shot, this and he's going to be taken down. I mean, that's just the worst position to be in in any competitive game is being weak, low materials, low health, and being forced to push in. Every time you watch Aiden and whoever he's playing with, they are always the most aggressive, it appears. Yes. If you remember the famous moment, I think for me, the arguably one of the most famous moments in Fortnite competitive history was the Nick Merckx and Aiden duo where they made it into the big bonus about a year ago. Oh my God. And a crowd popped off. Well, they're always scrappy getting into eliminations. Here, the stat popped up for a second. Aiden and Sean had done 680 damage in the game. The average in the lobby was 80. They were 600 above in this lobby already. Unfortunately, though, if you fight that much, there's a higher chance of you going down. Speaking of uh, potential fights, here's Sislucky and Brush, who we saw earlier on in the last game at Fatal Field struggle to uh, stay alive. Now in another tough spot as they're both low on shields and low on health. Decent rotation items, two shadows, and a launch pad. Again, I always want to keep stressing that because if you guys have some launch pads, even one shadow. One shadow can get you into it, into another zone. Right? Yep. It's going to hopefully get you those placement points that you need or even put you in a position to get some, you know, some eliminations. Uh, but yeah, as you said with Aiden, we mentioned earlier, are people going to change how they're going to play, right? Are they going to do anything different here in the World Cup? And guess what? I'm pretty sure we can say that Aiden's squad is not doing anything different. They're being incredibly <laughs> aggressive. They're putting the damage down. Yep. And unfortunately, there were just too many players who took advantage that they were weak. And that was the top five leading into this game. You see it, it, it updated again right there on your screen of where the leaderboard is at the moment. Mitro and Mongrel staying alive. In a holding great his, spot. Holding this pyramid edit. And for people at home who might not know, He's kind of, he's not exposed right there, right, Ninja? He, he's peeking through his build. Correct, because you guys are peeking through a pyramid. You hit edit on it. Uh, you cannot be seen, right? But you can also see through it. It's a very amazing, amazing feature. Fortnite, Battle Royale. What a Battle Royale, the ultimate Battle Royale experience. Ultimate Battle Royale experience, man. Blue T is in the storm, taking damage, a lot of damage, and he's still going to be rotating. Rogue taking damage as well. Thomas, going to have to make some plays. And there goes Rogue. He actually just got knocked. 66 players remain. And this storm is kind of moving a little bit away from Pleasant Park, but it's once you have a high ground mountain in play, I mean, I'm wondering if it's going to go north. There's there's three high ground mountains in play, and really mixes it up and like a drone ship that people can wind up going on top of, and those are brilliant to use. Oh, absolutely! If you guys can get up on top of those, guess what? You have ultimate high ground on the map. 
without having to place any mats. Yep. It's incredible. You can't get sniped from above and you can deal as much damage as you want. Also, it's incredibly difficult to shoot players that are up there. 100%. But it's important to know that after the fifth circle closes in, those air vents will stop working. So if you don't have any rotation to get down, glide or redeploy, yikes. anything like that, <laughs> yikes. That's a massive yikes. So you have to pray that someone puts a launch pad down underneath you somehow. Yep. And, uh, and go for it. Yeah, let's that, risk it all. Most of these teams will mess that up. Now, we talked about our game one winners, the team that took home the victory royale, which is, again, 10 placement points, the max you can get for placement in these games. It was Zayt and Saf, and they're currently set on up in this zone for the moment. Did they just get the zone as well? Are they the, are they the yellow team in the minimap? I mean, they're close enough for sure, I can see. I think, no, actually, no, they got to rotate a little bit, but look, they got four shockwave grenades. Yep. And they'll be all right. They'll, they'll, they'll be, be able to make it happen. Air wax and Peacock, man. Here we go. They have to rotate the farthest. Look at how many stack players are on this side of the lobby right now, and they're all going to have to move very soon. Yeah. Arkham and Falcon are having tough rotation ahead. Slacks and Keys. Watch them fight a little bit earlier on against like Lanjok and Punisher. Waiting to pop those heels till his teammate comes in. Yep. No, he missed one. <laughs> he didn't miss. He no, his teammate's full. Teammate's full. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Jeez. Teammate's full. <laughs> You know, I was playing with Myth the other day, and uh, he was using a lot of chug splashes without me, so you know, hey. I'm really sensitive on it. We'll, let you, really sensitive we'll on let you and Myth handle that one. As, uh, again, it seems like some tension there, but uh, we continue uh, to I move on, on in this fight. This is game two of six, folks. The matches will be going on throughout the day. 62 players left in this one, 35 duos. And you see Arkham and Falconer. It looks like they did a duo shockwave to try to fly across the map together. Good teamwork. As the frantic rotation begins to move on in, more storm surge will soon begin, begin to come to play as well. Jack, I have a question for you, man. Yes. Once these circles start closing in, they're so small. What do you think is the play? To rotate it right away once it's revealed if you're far out, or to wait and be the last team? Uh, I, I, for me, it completely comes down to what you have left, uh, what you have in, in, in your inventory, where you are at, the leaderboards as well. If I'm in a position where I know I need to make some ground up on the leaderboards, I want to rotate early and try to begin to spray back on the opponents to get some free eliminations. Yes, yes, yes. If you get the zone on you, you begin to just build on up and get that height so you can spray on down as well. In this one, though, again, all comes down to rotation. If you have nothing to rotate with and you're far away, I think you play late and hope someone else drops a launch pad near you and use that community pad to your advantage. Yeah, we're looking over here at UN three eliminations, sitting here with some very good materials, and it's definitely a very delicious loadout. Anything with anyone with a heavy sniper and a blue SMG in a combat. And remember, uh, he started the game in Snobby Shores with that clutch when KBB oh did go down. God. So they're still in this one he because still of the has clutch that beautiful blue combat where he clutched he it with, man. Yes, he does. And all the materials you could ever ask for it, nearly 100 builds in this one. You see their marking right now. I think they yep. have a double heavy cyber combo. They're either marking double heavy or they're saying, focus this, focus this, the zone's closing there. We're gonna find out soon enough. It literally looks like he's marking exactly what he's trying to look and see. Yep. Oh, they do, they a, do double have a double heavy cypher. And did Ninja call that the man knows. They see one, and oh! No! You guys saw the pyramid. This is exactly what Jack talked about earlier. You need two walls, two layers protecting you from one of those walls, so that double cypher yep. will not take you down. But they've got the tools, the key to open all doors, as I put it. And this zone, Ninja, it just <laughs> moved over a mountain, man. It just moved out of the side of the mountain, so high ground will be in play. But at the same time, Ninja, half of the low ground still in play. So it's not as bad a position for the low ground players. Here's a look at Mongrel Mitro. Remember, Mongrel did go down early on in the last game. He's got a back on up because he's burning through materials very, very quickly. They're far above this storm surge, so they're good for the moment. And there's the replenish from his teammate in Mitro. Six Four total builds left. Always see them doing this. They always split half and half mass with one another, and then they go and clutch the others. And it's just the perfect way of making sure that you guys have equal material. Look at how weak Sav is. Sav just sneaking up through with that shadow bomb. The spray coming in from Mongrel. Spray. Stink bomb is hit as well. Everyone focusing these players on the outside. They've got the minigun firing too. The lobby now picking up quick as we move into our fifth zone. The storm is closing in, and that's going to be forcing everyone to get into where the safe zone is right now. It is moving in towards Pleasant Park. Guys, this is absolutely insane. 51 players still remain, by the way, in a circle this small. They're just trying to get as many limbs possible as people are rotating in. Mitro on the bottom right of your screen with that minigun has 631 bullets to spray down with Mongrel in a fight. Gets one player weak but does have to back on him. Didn't get the clutch, someone else stole the kill from him. Well, Mitro gets chucked as well. Still have a launch pad, but again, when you're on there, you're in a situation like this. Low ground, they're getting sprayed with nothing but grenade launcher shots and frag grenades, and they're both going to be eliminated, and Mongrel also, sorry, Airwax just went down as well. And you see 
Cease in the elimination feed. Does look like, remember early on, Elevate did go down there. So, so delicious. delicious. Zane, go for it. Zane Sap, do they, do they do it? Do you go for it? There's a launch pad there and so many materials. This is game changing loop right now. They've got the builds to go for it if they want. They're going to do like it. They're going to make the play. A cold combat shotgun too, man. Zay and Saf uncontested. That's one of those risk versus reward plays that can help set them up for two victory royales in a row. On Rilla Micho's loot too, man. Oh, that I mean, was making a And statement. we know that was juicy loot. Yeah, they're making a statement saying, listen, we're from NA, we're here to play. Taking out the Evil, they didn't know they took them out, but they're definitely taking their loot. Yeah, for sure, as they are still above the still great surge. rotation items too. They both each have a launch pad, both have two shotgun grenades, and they're gonna go. He didn't get it though, they try to get both at the same time. He's gonna be flying and this is it, another massive rotation going to be taken to the center of Pleasant Park. They're 167 damage above the threshold, so they're lit, looking pretty good right now. The question is, are they going to keep in ground, go for low ground, high ground? What's the play? They didn't they did get the full launch pad. He might, he, might have to pay, he might have to use his own. Yes, another he does one. again, and that actually works out. He hits his head on something, which takes him down from having to, you know, fly all the way up from and the guy get beat. Ground. They're going to challenge high ground right now. Zayt and Saf looking to do what many would think was impossible, which is win back-to-back -back games in the stack lobby. Just saw Falconer in the feed as well. Arkham with an elimination, too. 19 duos left as we're moving towards the placement points, Ninja. And these duos know exactly that. Three points if you make it to the top 15, which could be the difference between first and dead last. What are they going to do? Are they going to are they going to prioritize rotation in and not taking damage, or are they going to try to play it a little risky and go for the limbs? If you're going to be shooting, going for the limbs, definitely open up to a lot of spray, shotgun shots, AR shots. Someone suddenly taking the high ground on you. So it all depends on how their their play style can unfold, man. Many more duos remaining in this game, unlike the last one. Saint with another elimination right there on a KVB. We've got Snappy and Red Rush on the high ground, and Sam over the play. The he high goes ground, to the high get ground. It. Take Willie, get it. He's gonna get it. He has it. Saint's got high ground. Saint has high ground as they go to try to push for two victory royales in a row. Saf is there as well, but Snappy just appeared right behind Saf and shotgunned him down right there. Zayn right now is going to have to concede to the high ground, giving it to Snappy. And he's just going to have to stay alive as long as possible, try to get some placement points. He is obviously a talented player, top player. He can definitely make something happen, and I'm interested to see what he's going to do. Cease has been by himself since the first moment of this game when Elevate went down at 98 players remaining, and he's somehow still alive. There goes Mega. You've got Darox and Item on the low ground. Warwin getting chopped down as well. Zayt with about 100 HP. Uh-oh. Here comes Vinny and Zexro. They're he's trying to challenge the, the high ground. Keys right now being held in the storm of five limbs. He's going to be eliminated from the back. Zayt taken down as well. Snappy still with the high ground. Zex and Vinny and TSM crew. Looking good, and they're gonna take it. They just took high ground. Snappy gave it to him. And they just got the high ground. Great use of the shockwave as well. Finney as well as Zexro on hype for the moment. Five eliminations so far. They they're putting their eliminated. names in the hat for potential victory royale Look in this how game. They go down, right? They want those limbs. Forwin now with eliminations back to back. Four players left in this one. Zexro and Vinny sprang from the high ground. It's a two versus one. The player right on the edge of the zone. The shock wave into the air. And he's going to drop on down the height for the moment.